kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back to my another video, and this will be the part one of my video series on audio video calling app using Firebase in Android Studio. Okay, guys. So now we will start working on our home screen activity uh, Java class. So now, first of all, we have to bind the view. So for binding the views, we have to use the bind view, and then we can say our dot id dot view pager. Or I think we did not set the ID to our view pagers. Let me check. Yes, we did not assign the ID. So here we can check view pager. And then we can just copy that and paste it in our home screen uh, here. And then we can say view pager two, and we can you call us it as view pager. And I think we should not use the two here. And then we are using the tab layout. So for this, we can say view bind r dot id dot tab layout, and then we can say tab layout. Okay, I think I forgot to write this. and yes now we have the tab layout so another thing which i have to do is we have to use the toolbar so for this we can bind view r dot id dot toolbar home then we can say toolbar and toolbar here and then we have to first of all use the file base auth then we can use the file base user and then we have to use uh, because we are going to use the three fragments so for the, so that's why we have to uh, write use the strings for the titles and so here we can say first of all we will have a chat fragment then we will have the users fragment that will display all the user then we will have a profile fragment so after this let me see if i have used the cinch okay so we haven't added the cinch sdk here so in our next part of the video series we will be we will implement all the uh, the cinch audio video calling library in our project so first of all here after uh, binding this we have to first of all set the toolbar so here we can say toolbar dot set title and and it will be uh, chatting application and then we can say set support action bar and we have to provide the toolbar here then we can assign the file base user so for the file base user fb user equal to file base or dot get instance dot get current user so now we have access to our file base user and then we are going to initialize the cinch library but before initializing the cinch library let me see which other things we have to do yes okay so there are a couple of things that we need for our cinch and then we will be using the status online and offline okay so now what we are going to do since we already have the view pager and we have the tab layout so first of all we have to display all the chats inside our chat application okay so for this we have to first of all bind the view pager and then we can simply attach it to our uh, view pager adapter okay so first of all we have to uh, put up the adapter here for all to display all the chats so first of all here we have to use the database reference so here we have the database reference db ref and then we have the db reference here db ref equal to file base database dot get instance dot get reference dot child and it will have the chats here and we can say ref db ref dot keep synced so it will be it will be kept synchronized and then we can see use db ref dot add value event listener new value event listener and here so basically a val add value event listener it is it is used to display or access the data inside uh, inside a single node okay so here we have to use now an adapter and that will be the view pager adapter and we have to provide only the uh, context of this activity and then we will set it to our view pager
all right guys so i think that we do not need all these things so instead of using all these things so here we can say like view pager adapter view pager adapter equal to new view pager adapter and here we have to provide this the current context of this application and then we can say view pager dot set adapter and in here we have to pass on our view pager adapter okay so that's how it will work and then we will use the new tab layout layout mediator but for that we have to now use the view pager adapter so in order to use here we have to create a new uh, package here and for this we can say adapters and inside this we can use a view pager adapter so here we can create a class and name it as view pager adapter all right so after we have this uh, view pager adapter we can simply now use a fragment uh, state adapter we can we have to extend it for the subclass of this class so here we can say extend fragment state adapter and here now you can see we have an error so for, move, move your mouse cursor towards this and then press alt enter and there you, you will see this implement method so we have to implement these two methods the first one is the, is the create fragment and the second one is the get item count method so let's have these both methods and here it also shows an error because we have to create the constructor matching super and here let me see which okay so here you can see we have the fragment activity here and here we have the super fragment activity then here inside this create fragment we are going to create some fragments and here inside our get item count method we have to return three all right and also let me see what other things which we have to implement okay so now we can create the separate package for our fragments so here we can save fragments and inside this fragment we have to create a new java class and inside this java class first of all we will create a chat fragment all right then we will create a user fragment all right and then we have to create the profile fragment so create click new java class and profile fragment so now we have these three uh, fragments here so first of all we have to uh, write for the chat flare is the chat fragment so first of all inside our chat fragment let me extend it to fragment class and then here we have to override some methods so first one we have the on create view then we have on view created so that's we that's how we override these two methods for our for all all the fragments so similarly just like we did for the chat fragment we can simply say it extend fragment and here we have on view on create view and then we have on view created okay so similarly for the profile fragment here no so now it is asking me to import the class so here we can easily import it and also for the profile fragment we can simply extend it with fragment and here we have on view on create view then we have on view created so now we have all these three fragments ready for our view pager and so now here we are going to first of all go to our adapter class and inside this adapter class what we are going to do uh, okay so i think for uh, i think that is enough uh, for this video so guys we will start working on our next part of the video and that will be the part 13 of this video series so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel uh, thank you and goodbye